Hey, I'm Rev, and today we're going to be going over the Tales of Tribute changes coming in Update 35. I think the game is in a pretty decent spot right now. I, I don't think there's a lot of blaring issues. I hope that there's changes to Orgnum. I hope that uh, maybe, even though it hurts me a lot, maybe uh, the St. Pelin deck gets some nerfs as it is quite strong. And I really hope that there's a change to the Hulalu hero power because it is game warping. Um, I hope that the orange deck, the, the, the Khajiit deck, I hope that that gets some changes. Uh, I guess I hope that there's more changes than I thought there were. But let's jump into, into the notes. Um, in general, tribute NPCs are now a little smarter. That is whatever. Companion chatter is now suppressed while in the Tales of Tribute match. I don't use companions, so this doesn't affect me. Uh, fixed an issue that prevented placement and rank matches from updating experience after a match ends. This is a very welcome change. <laughs> it is very frustrating to have to go to the actual menu to see your leaderboard placement uh, every single time instead of just being able to see it from the launcher. Um, fixed an issue where, that caused someone to forfeit a match as it started when hitting the alt key. That seems unfortunate. Fixed an issue where matches could get unintentionally interrupted. That also seems unfortunate. Uh, I'm glad that these are getting fixed. Fixed a few issues that could cause you to get stuck in the Tribute Activity Finder queue. Um, also very unfortunate. I hope that uh, this doesn't happen to anybody going forward. Achievements are irrelevant. Clues are whatever. Let's see, gameplay. We've been keeping a close eye on Tales of Tribute and specific cards that over or underperform in-game. For update 35, we made changes to the biggest outliers while looking at how they contribute to the overall win percentage. Okay. Duke of Crows increased the gold cost of Scratch from four to, to four gold from three. Um, this is an interesting change. This brings it in line with Murder of Crows, but... Um, I don't like increasing gold cost on cards because that that is a dangerous road. <laughs> I hope that, oh, looking at this, this looks like that's what they're doing for most of them. Um, well, for some of them. But this is dangerous. Uh, you cannot just increase the cost of cards to balance the game. The, the time to play on Tales of Tribute is already pretty high with each match lasting somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes if it's a like back and forth match I think increasing the cost on cards makes the game slower that is not what you want if you're going to increase the cost of certain cards you have to decrease the cost of other cards in order to make up for it Otherwise, the beginning rounds of the game are going to have a lot less buys. Alright, Grandmaster Halalu. Increase the gold generation from higher link to 2 gold from 1. I don't know why. Increase the acquire value of Oathman to 6 coin from 5. I thought Oathman was already 6 coin. Um. What? <laughs> okay. Sigic Lord Master Solaris, reduce the replace cost from Sephora's Insight to 1 from 2 and increase the toss from to 4 from 3. Uh, that does nothing. Reduces the replace from Sigic Insights from one uh, to 1 from 2. Okay. I'm guessing replace is uh, getting rid of cards on the board. All right. And increased its toss from 4 to 3. That's That's just a nerf. That's terrible. Reduced the replace from Prescience to 1 from 2 and increased its gold generation to 3 from 2. That's actually pretty decent. Um, removed the replace from Time Mastery. So no replace on Time Mastery at all. And changed its toss to 4. Was Lore Master Solaris winning games? Who was winning games with the blue deck? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Alright. Rajan, here we go. Let's let's get some good some good nerfs here. Maybe not on the cards, but just on the hero power, please. 
Increase the gold generation from Prowling Shadow to 2 from 1, and reduce the gold cost from 4 to 5. Okay. Um, that's, that's okay. Uh, it's an agent, so it still stinks. Prowling Shadow no longer has Taunt. That's, that's a big deal. Jeering Shadow now generates gold as a base effect and no longer has Taunt. That's fine. All right. Reduce the gold cost of Jeering Shadow to 4 from 5. That's good. They're still agents, so they stink. Increase the gold cost of Jarring Lullaby to 7 from 6. And increase the gold generation to 2 from 1. Okay. Um, that's a nerf. That's, that's not great. Okay. Uh, Shadow Slumber now generates gold as a base effect. Sure. Uh, none of those changes change the fact that Rajan is obnoxious to play against. Red Eagle, reduce the combo 2 power generation from Midnight Raid to 2 from 3. No! <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> yes, I know it was over. it was overpowered. I get it. This makes sense. Imperial Spoils now generates one gold on combo two. Okay. That's fine. Uh, increase the gold generation from Imperial Plunder to two from one. That's fine. Sure. All right. St. Pelin. Increase the gold cost of Armory to six gold from five. That is fine. Um, again, they should just change the effect of the card and not the cost of the card. Increase the gold cost of Rally to 8 from 7. Uh, just make it give one less power. Uh, I, I don't understand. All right. Reduce the gold generation from Siege Weapon Volley's combo to 2 from 1. Uh, from uh, combo 2 to 1 from 2. That's a big change. That is a big deal. Um, the Reinforcements card can now be upgraded to Legion's Arrival by acquiring and following a clue. Okay, cool. Quests or whatever. Rewards. Okay. Uh, tribute season rank trophy furnishings will now be granted for every rank, apparently. Doubled the gold found in tribute reward bags. Nice! Give me more gold. Tribute reward bags no longer grant potions, poisons, soul gems, foods, or drinks. Hooray! <laughs> Mana from heaven! I don't have to manage those things anymore. Reduce the chance of receiving some alchemy materials from Tales of Tribute reward bags. Well, that stinks. Uh, re reduce the chance of receiving furnishing patterns and cooking recipes. That also stinks. I, I like getting those. Winning multiple matches for t Tribute Daily Quests will now grant progressively higher quality reward bag based on your victories when turned in instead of additional bags of lower quality. Okay. So, Tribute Daily Quests were all for green, blue, and purple quality reward bags for 1, 2, and 3 wins, respectively. PvP Tributes will, ooh, will have blue, purple, and gold quality reward bags for 1, 2, and 3, respectively. Nice. More reason to do the dailies, which I do pretty much every day. Alright, fixed an issue that caused ranked tier rewards to display transmute crystal rewards in stacks of one instead of a single stack with all crystals. Well, sure. Uh, gold received from some tribute reward bags will no longer be affected by passive bonuses. That stinks. All right. Visuals. Playable and damageable cards now have different highlights. Fixed numerous minor visual issues. Fixed an issue that would cause your screen to visibly shake when playing near a volcanic vent. Uh, that would stink. Alright, and then the UI is whatever. We're not going to go over that. That, sure, whatever. Alright, so some big changes in incoming. I think that the changes are relatively bad. They don't address anything that I was hoping to address. Orgnum is still going to be a problem. Rajan is still going to be annoying. Um, I I was really hoping for some sweeping changes to the patron powers, but that is not what we got. Instead, we got increases in gold to certain cards. I don't think that this is the way to go, but I could be wrong. 
Uh, let me know what you think of the changes in the comment section below if you feel like it. Anyway, my name is Rev. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.